we're going to create logic circuits using gates and we're going to do it in an online simulation environment. The one that we're using here is called Logically and you can access it at this web URL there. We can drag our logic gates into our into our main page here. So we can just drag a drag an OR gate in there. And what we want to do when we're creating circuits is we want to have switches. So these can represent our inputs of, of uh, ones and zeros. Then we can create create our circuit in between there. And we also want to have a light bulb at the other end. So this represents our output. If the light bulb is on, then the output is one. If it's off, then the output is zero. So we create our circuit in between the switches and our light bulb here. So we create create a little circuit here, very straightforward one. Just adding a couple of knot gates there, and then we join all these together just simply by clicking on the little circles that are attached to each of our elements there. So the switch here then gets connected to that OR gate there. The switch gets connected to that OR gate there. This OR gate is connected connect to that knot gate. Knot gate is connected to that knot gate. That knot gate is connected to the output. So at the moment, our switches are in the off position, so that represents two, zero and zero as our inputs. If we turn them both on, which we've done there, we now have our output as, as one here. We can follow the logic of that, but essentially both of these are on. Our output of the XOR is, is one, which means the input into our NOT gate is one, but the output then is zero. The input to the next NOT gate is zero, and the output is one, so therefore it's on. So if we turn one of these switches off, it still remains on. If we turn both of the switches off, then light goes off. So you can see in this case we've created a, a straightforward circuit there that has both inputs by controlling the switches there and an output which is the bulb here.